Hey guys, I'm going to be doing another craft. I'm going to make a snowman. We're using these little clear globes from the Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree. You can probably get them at Walmart or Dollar Store, but if you have a Dollar Tree, you can get them there for a dollar a piece. I'm going to use two. The first one is going to be the base, uh, and then his head is going to be the next one. And what I've done, because all of my painting is going to be on the inside, uh, that way I, I have the outer glass creating the, uh, the gloss on it, the finish on it. Now you could do all of your painting on the outside of the glass, that way if you did want to put lights in it or candy, use it as a candy dish, you know, something like that, you could. Um, mine is just going to be to sit up and look cute so I'm going to have all the painting on the inside easy to clean that way. What I've done is just um, tape down a face so that when I'm on the inside painting I know exactly where to paint. I'm going to get this done and then I'm going to, I think I'm going to put a, a clear coat of glitter on the inside before I paint it white just to give it a, a little bit of sparkle. You don't have to do that. You could just paint it um, solid white once you use the black and orange and paint the carrot nose and the uh, coal inside. So I'm going to go ahead. I just wanted to show you how it was, since I'm painting from the reverse, how I did it. I put it on the outside first so that on the inside I can paint. So I'm going to go ahead and start that and I'll be right back once I have it done. Alright, so there it is. Now that that's off, I can see, you know, a little bit that I need to go in and touch up just a little. We're not going to do a lot to it because it will be backed in uh, white paint soon. So it's not going to actually be clear. But we want that black to show up as much as possible. So I'll just put a little more on. Now this will have to dry completely before we put a second coat on, like the glitter is next. And this is glass, so thankfully, as you can see, I got some on the top there. I'm just going to go in and clean that up while it's wet. Okay, we're just about ready for the next step, and here's what it looks like. It's almost dry. You can see just a little bit of sheen there from the glitter. This one looks like I can go ahead and start painting. So I'm going to put the paint in. I won't make you watch me do that. I'll be back. And now we let it dry in case we need a second coat. Another thing that you could do is uh, hit it with some white spray paint. That would be fine too. Okay guys, so I've got all the painting completed. As you can see, I have glued the two together using E6000. 
and then um, I left the bottom opening. You could uh, insert um, you could insert some LED lights. Um, you could do the same in the top. Now the top, you could either make a little knit toboggan and put on it, or you can you could use an ornament from the Dollar Tree, which is a little top hat, and just glue it right on. Or um, I found another hat for, let's see, it was $3.98 at Walmart if you wanted a larger hat. Um, now, a couple of ideas with this as well. If I had painted on the outside instead of the inside, uh, this could be used as a candy dish. And instead of gluing the hat on, you could just put it on top. If you wanted anything, it would be easily removed. So just an idea there for you as well. But this, uh, I will be putting a little scarf on him also. I'll insert a picture of that. But um, I just wanted to very quickly go over this little craft with you because it's very inexpensive and very cute. Um, and again, this is two coats of white paint inside. And remember, I just layered. I painted the face first. Then I went in with a coat of glitter. And then I went in with a coat of paint. Um, you don't have to do the glitter or you don't have to do the paint if you wanted to leave him clear and make him a candy dish, you know, so you could see through it or something like that. But very inexpensive craft and very cute, very uh, easy for the adults, but also for the kids. Again, everybody's staying at home right now. This would be a really inexpensive craft for the kids that they would just um, be very proud of. So you guys have a great week and I'll be back next week. Bye.